Hello and welcome to this video teaser that will explain to you why you should read this paper and watch its presentation. To understand what led us to develop a new approach for the model checking of PetiNet, we can have a look at a well-known optimization technique. Indeed, our approach is based on structural reductions that have been introduced by Bertolo in 1987. The goal is to reduce the net that we want to verify by preserving some properties such as deadlock, for instance. But 30 years after, the Vertex team developed new structural reductions with linear equations. And the aim of these linear equations is to preserve enough information about the reachable markings of the initial net in order to be able to rebuild the state space of the initial net by knowing the one of the reduced net. And so, in this paper, you will find an answer to the question, does it feel well with SMT-based methods? We are interested in the verification of reachability properties. In this paper, we restate them into the quantifier-free linear integer arithmetic series that is a good fit for our approach. For a better understanding of our reductions, we can have a look at a concrete instance. If we visualize the IBM 319 model from the model checking contest, we can see that this instance is quite big. But now, if we reduce this model using our method, we obtain a system of linear equations and a reduced net that is much smaller. In this paper, we define the polydoll approach. To be short, we have an initial net with a complicated state space, and we reduce it into a smaller one by getting some reduction equations. One of the contributions of this paper is a new notion of abstraction and equivalence that we call the e-abstraction equivalence. Its goal is to capture an equivalence between the reachable markings of the initial net and the one of the reduced net modulo our linear system E. In this paper, the problem that we want to answer is, given a reachability formula F, is F an invariant or reachable on the initial net N1? And so another contribution of this work is a method to transform this problem into a simpler one that we verify on the reduced net N2. From all this theory and this new framework, we develop a prototype model checker called SMPT for Satisfiability Modulo Pretty Net. It is available online on GitHub, but we can have a look at this tool together. We can compute some properties on the Kanban 5000 model from the model checking contest using reductions. In this paper, you will also find some complete experimental results. We took all the instances from the model checking contest, and we found a lot of opportunities of reductions. If you look at the presentation, I will explain to you how to interpret the results and why it shows that we can obtain very good speedup even when nets have a few reduction opportunities. I hope you will have fun watching the long version presentation and see you soon for the discussions.